Well, y'all, we're on another camping adventure. This is our March trip. We didn't get to go in February just because of date constraints, not having any availability to go on any other weekends, really. So, we're here. We're in Bastrop, Texas. We did not get to get a site actually in the state park. Uh, there's Bastrop State Park and Buechler. You sure something like that state park um but both of their campsites were all full so we got a spot on hip camp uh spoiler alert we were already there and we left to go to the gas station that was nearby to get some ice and they were going back and i'll show y'all the spot but we'll show y'all when we get there <laughs> bye I would just like to say it is hot in Topeka. <laughs> oh Lord, this is our campsite. I'm gonna show you a picture of what the campsite looked like online compared to what ours actually looks like. And we're trying a different bedding setup today for this trip. So once we get to that part, I'm gonna show y'all Sorry, but try to fly my face, but I'll be back in a second. So this is everything we brought. Uh, we got our cooler there, the beverages, our water. I only filled it up halfway since we're only gonna be here one day. I to fill it up full. My makeshift coat rack for my shirt, because it is H O T hot in this piece. Uh, sleeping bag, backpacks, sleeping pad, tarp, camera stand down blankets, tent, and campsite ready to be put up. I'm probably gonna cook on that little stump right there. But, catch y'all in a bit. So William put the inflatable pad in as usual, and then a down under blanket. But now we're gonna try out these sleeping bags. Well, they regulated at 10 degrees, and it's currently 80 degrees outside. <laughs> but push comes to shove, we can use them to lay on top of because we have those um, down feather blankets with us too that we showed in our Colorado Bend camping trip video. But I'm gonna set those up. And we'll be good on the tent. Just that easy, guys. That's the blankets I was talking about. Available on Amazon. The sleeping bags are from Walmart. The tent is from Walmart. The down under blanket is from Amazon. And 
the air pad is also from Walmart. You don't have to spend all your money to go camping. Just make sure it's good quality. The price doesn't matter. Well, it does matter. <laughs> but it doesn't have to be expensive to be good quality. Yeah. <laughs> at, I was about to say Barton Creek Jump at Bastrop State Park in Bastrop, Texas. We made it to the top, but not really. We're starting at the top, working our way down town. And yeah, I'll show y'all the view from up here. And then it's time to start sweating. Anything you like to say, darling? No. Let's get to sweating, man. This view, beautiful. There was a huge forest fire some years back, and a lot of Bastrop National, well, Bastrop State Park got burnt down during it. And we're walking through part of it right now. I'm gonna show you. You can see they're growing back. Then, like up closer, you can see some of the burnt part still. It's so sad, but I'm glad they're growing back though. That one. Look how far we've made it. That's where we started at the overlook. We're all the way down here now. The sand is really tripping me out. I did not expect there to be sand. But I'm wondering, did they have to put the sand down like all over when they were trying to put the fire out? Then it just made a trail. Cause I looked over like to the sides, there is sand over there too. They didn't just put it here for a trail. But maybe it was just always made out of sand. I don't know child. Just a little thinking.
people have a lot of ingenuity. <laughs> the sun is coming down. It's not too bad because of the hats, but somebody had a bright idea of wearing black out here. You know how that's turning out, but pushing on. Coming up on another bridge, number four. So, so far we passed number six and number five. So, we were, I guess right. We had, it was counting down. I'm gonna be disappointed if we don't get to bridge number one. Welcome to Williams and Lee's Nature Show. We walk you through trails, tell you how we died on the way. <laughs> Currently, I'm not dying. That's good. But stay tuned. See, Bass Drop State Park knows how to do it right. This is the second one of these forks we've come to, and we were like, oh no, not again. But they clearly mark out their trails unlike uh cedar not gonna see was it colorado bend yeah unlike colorado bend so we are appreciative of the distinctions Well, we made it to bridge one, but we passed bridge three. Didn't see that bridge. And back this way, which is the actual trail direction, again, shout out Bastrop State Park. This is number two. So where is three? I'm guessing since that one leads over there to the campsite, that three is at that other campsite that we passed that we didn't go down there. Hmm, possibly. That's a good spot. Happy little face. We're almost done. But unfortunately for us, this is not a looping trail. <laughs> so we have to walk or back to the car. And since we walked basically downhill this direction, we have to walk uphill on the way back. So, fun times for us. Can't really tell this how far up we are, but we're pretty high. Video doesn't really capture. And the crazy part is, like I said, we went down. So, we were up stupid high to begin with, but Unfortunately, that is not our parking lot. That is just the other end of the trail. Like I said, we gotta walk back up. I think we're gonna walk up the road and not back up the actual trail, but we'll see. We almost there. You can see. A parking lot. Well, now you can't see it, but there's a parking lot over there. So close. Oh, there it is in front of me. You probably still can't see it through the trees, but trust me. Child, almost to the bottom, and I almost saw a child slide down the side of the hill, mountain, whatever you want to call this. He had a metal detector in one hand and slid down the side with the other leg on, like it was in his left hand. He slid down with the right leg. You know what I'm trying to say. I'm befuddled because I almost saw a possible death. We made it. Woohoo. Where we ended, where we came from. 1.57 miles. You gotta show this. <laughs> <laughs> makes it look too easy showing the straight path. So we're gonna go, let's see, back up the road here. 
to get back up there. Alright. And now the journey begins back to the car. As you saw from William just now, we're walking up the road instead of walking back up the trail. So it's a straighter path, an easier path. But we'll see if I'm alive or not by the end. Stay tuned. Hello. In fact, I died. <laughs> but I'm a zombie and I'm still making it. <sighs> we almost there. We're looking at the sign. We're looking at the car, actually. <laughs> We're looking at the car, but long. It was so steep. It was so steep. You can't tell at all. It looks like a flat road. You but... can't even. See. That's because you can't see down the hill. <laughs> <sighs> where the road cuts off in the video, that's where the hill goes down. <laughs> oh, mama. Ooh. We did it. Good job. <laughs> Job, Lisa. Yeah. <sighs> Checking the pedometer. See how far we went, including the road. If I can unlock my screen. <sighs> we have, we have, we have. <laughs> 7,000 which equals 3.4 miles is what they say at least wait can't see that <laughs> turn up your brightness can't see it put my finger in the way <laughs> dang it <laughs> alright now Right there, one of the fingers. <laughs> well, we made it back. I'm back alive. And now we're about to cook some dinner. I'll show you what's on the menu today. Got the old ravioli. boiling in this real nice and I just put it on like maybe two minutes ago the propane thing does not play we brought two of them this time and it's the you know classic chef war ID because uh, we've used it before we've used it actually twice and it still got gas in it but I didn't know how much gas and we don't have a way of checking that so I brought an extra canister till it runs out and so far I'm satisfied with the price and the length like I didn't know how it was gonna be because we have like I think four at the house but what do we bought for She's gonna have that. I'm gonna be having some chicken and sausage gumbo. And of course, the burrs. Dinner is served. Beef ravioli, chicken and sausage gumbo. Net propane stove does not play around. <laughs> this stuff is hot. <laughs> Thank you. 
cooking up the breakfast before we get on the, this hike. Have some energy. Uh, this is almost done. Taking the stuff out of the tent, breaking it down, um, finishing up my morning brewski. And uh, we should be out of here in about 30 minutes or so. Show y'all the other other hike. All right, we're leaving the campsite now. Showing you, you leave it better than you left it is the <laughs> motto for them. So, I'll show you how we left it. Uh, I just realized leaving it better than you left it don't make sense, but. There it is. The next thing you see will be us at the next park. Couldn't be fonder. Of my big home, the bees are buzzing in the trees. Make some honey, just out my ankle. <laughs> if you look under the rocks and plants, take a glance at the fancy ants. Maybe try a few. Gee, thanks, Blue. The bare necessities of life will come to you. We've stumbled across a Greenland. Well, we didn't stumble across this part of the trail, <laughs> but interesting. Is this what separates the parks? Nah, we ain't going a mile already. Eats of set. I wish the camera could pick it up. We'll see. We've made it to the scenic overlook. How majestic. <laughs> Check out this tree. to the beginning it's right around the corner and no one died <laughs> now we're off to, yeah, now we're off to see the tree a good tree <laughs> Strap again before we headed back home to see one of my friends that I made off of Instagram. Uh, he used to have a shop in Austin. Well, he had a food truck in Austin, the Beauty Bakery, and now he has opened a brick and mortar in Bastrop. So we're gonna go and see it. And <laughs> this is the liquor shop we went to yesterday. <laughs>